Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of PyTest, I am going to show you how to run the test methods using PyTest testing framework. So let's get started. Till now, we have not used PyTest for running anything in our project, right? We have not even used PyTest for running anything in our project. But from now onwards, we are going to use PyTest. So how did we run something without the help of PyTest so far? Let me show you practically. Here we have this PyCharm ID under that we have a project. Okay. We have not used PyTest so far to run anything so far, right? So here we have this main.py file and under the main.py file, we used to write some Python code. Let's say print statement. For example, this is one of the Python code to run this print statement or this Python code, we have not used PyTest so far. Right click here and say run main, that's it. It will run the code, which is there in the main.py file of this project. And you'll get the output here. You see the print statement has printed my name here. This is what we have done so far. But going ahead, we are going to use PyTest testing framework in order to run the test methods. How? For this to happen, we have to adhere to some rules. Okay, we have to follow some rules that is, the things that we are going to create here, like package name, file name, method names, okay, should other to some rules. So there is no such rule for any package name. You can give any package name, but coming to the Python file names and method names, they should start with test underscore. Then only PyTest will be able to run this Python files and the methods, okay? If the method names and file names are starting with test underscore, then PyTest will recognize. There's no such rules for packages. Packages can have any name. They don't have to start with test underscore. But coming to the Python file names and method names, they should start with the test underscore. That's what is a rule. So let's say under this project, let me create a package. Right click new. Select this Python package. The package name can be anything. They don't have to start with test underscore. So I'll say sample package. Okay. Presenter. A package has been created. You see, it is not starting with test underscore. No problem with that. I test doesn't worry if the package name is not starting with test underscore. That's okay. Under the package, I'm going to create a Python file. But the name of the Python file should start with test underscore for it to get detected by the I test. Okay. So test underscore sample file. This is a sample Python file. Okay. It should start with test underscore. If it is not starting with test underscore, I test cannot detect it. Okay. Press enter. So under this, I'll create under this Python file, I'll create some functions, def or methods, whatever you call def sample one. For sample, I'll give some print statements inside sample one. One more function, def sample to print inside sample two. Now third one, def sample three, print. If this function got called and executed, it will print inside sample three in the output. Okay, like this. Let's give some space, extra space, so that these warnings will go off, okay? You see, these functions are not starting with test underscore, but file name is starting with test underscore. Now, I have to go to terminal. I have to go to this terminal. And if I have to run this particular test using PyTest, okay, from this PyCharm ID using PyTest, if I have to run this particular Python file, then I have to simply say PyTest here. Type PyTest here and press enter. You see, no test ran. Why no test run? Because this test are this test methods or test functions are not starting with test underscore. If I add test to one of the function, now run it again. Type pytest here. So under the project pytest, pytest will go inside the package and it will find the uh, Python files which are starting with test underscore and the functions also starting with test underscore. It will automatically find. Okay, press enter. Here one test will run. You see one pass. Remaining two functions are not starting with test underscore. So they got not, they didn't get detected by the PyTest. Okay. PyTest has only detected one, one uh, test method. Okay. So if you add test underscore here also, and here also, all the functions have the test underscore, including the file name. 
then you see this time three tests will run. Instead of one pass, it will say three pass this time. You see three got passed, but we didn't get any output here. Did we get any output? No. Collected three items, three got passed, but no output. You are not getting the output. For getting the output, you have to use some flags. Okay. All about flags, I'm going to cover in detail in here. Okay. For now, I'll give a sample of flags. So by test hyphen R A, like this, you have to write one flag. If you write this flag, you will see, you will be able to see the output. Okay. You will be able to see this uh, things printed in the output console. Press enter. Three will pass. This three test got run. Sample one, sample two, sample three, test sample one, test sample two, test sample three, and you will see the output here. You see? Test sample one got executed, and this is the output we got. Where is this? Test session started. I think last one we have to see. Okay, we didn't get a proper output. I'll just clear it out and say clear. PyTest hyphen RA. Let me run it again and see what is the output we are getting. You see, we got the output. Test sample one got executed, and this print statement inside sample one got printed. Test sample two got executed, inside sample two got printed. Test sample three got executed, inside sample three got printed, like this. Okay, three test methods got executed. What if I uh, rename this? Right click. Uh, where is this? Uh, I'll right click here and say refactor rename. I'll just remove the test underscore here before the Python file name and say refactor here. Now, can I run it? I test the center. You see, no, no run. Okay, no test run because these test functions are inside a Python file which is not starting with test underscore. They didn't get detected by the PyTest. PyTest is unable to detect. No matter where they are in the project, whether they are in a particular package or what, doesn't matter. PyTest will detect the Python file names which are starting with test underscore and the methods which are starting with test underscore and run them. Okay, that's how the PyTest works. Again, let me change this uh, thing to. Uh, refactor rename just add test underscore here and say refactor this time run it it will run you see all the three tests got run if you want to see the output also you have to say pytest and provide a flag all about flags i'll cover later r a the center you'll get the output also in this you see output also came okay and all the three tests have run because they are starting with test underscore so these are few rules that you have to follow. Okay. These are the few rules we have to follow for PyTest to run your test methods. Okay. For running the test methods using PyTest testing framework, the Python file name and uh, test method name should start with test underscore package name. It doesn't matter. And there is one more command guys. Okay. If you want to give PyTest, that's okay. Till now we were giving PyTest only, right? PyTest, PyTest like that we are giving. Instead of that, you can also give pi.test also. Some people will give pi.test. Just see here what I'm trying to do. Just here, instead of pi running using pi.test, you will give pi.test, iPhone R, iPhone capital A, press enter. This also will do the same thing, okay? Whether you can run the pi.test command or pi.test command, okay? So both will work in the same fashion. Some people will use PyTest, some people will use Py.test to run the test. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover some other things about PyTest. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.